Welcome to the Nevis Newscast for Wednesday, November 9th, 2022. I am Bronte Swanston Hendrickson. The Nevis Historical and Conservation Society says a special international coastal cleanup of an illegal dump site at Indian Castle as part of Ocean Conservancy's Team Seas project was a success. The NHCS is saying thanks for the efforts of its team, joined by a group of members volunteers and teams from St. Kitts and Nevis Red Cross, Gingerland Secondary School, Nevis Turtle Group, the staff at Manuel Rental Equipment, and the Nevis Solid Waste Management Authority. Minister of Culture and Area Representative for St. George's, the Honorable Eric Evelyn, also joined the cleanup, and the Nevis Historical and Conservation Society joins his special appeal to truckers to take their garbage to the designated landfill. Minister Evelyn also appeals to the general public to keep this beautiful island of Nevis clean as it belongs to us. In more local news. The COVID-19 pandemic really reiterated the importance of the messages that have been sent by the Nevis Disaster Management Department and other disaster management departments across the region. Executive Director of the Caribbean Disaster Emergency Management Agency, CIDEMA, last week made her first visit to St. Kitts and Nevis. The purpose of her mission trip was to familiarize herself with the disaster risk management issues facing the Federation. It is not just about the hurricanes, but as you can see, we have other climatic hazards that we have to address. We have geological hazards, earthquakes, which are a risk for our region. We have technological hazards. And of course, COVID-19 is just one example of the type of biological hazards that can face the region. It has taught us a lot. It has taught us that it is very important to really exercise and leverage the national level disaster management system. And when I say system, I mean the broad system coordinated by the national disaster offices, but comprising all the various sector ministries, the non-governmental organizations and the private sector, because we fully recognize that all of these partners need to come to the table to address hazard-related issues. According to Riley, the CDMA coordinated unit has made a number of adjustments as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic. We made adjustments to our regional coordination plan. It is appreciated that the advent of COVID-19 did not stop the impact of other hazards. In fact, it demonstrated the complexity that we're seeing where a number of hazards can occur at the same time. So we got sterling support from the Caribbean Public Health Agency, CARFA, in recrafting our deployment guidelines to ensure that we could do so in a safe way, um, providing support to the states that were impacted, but making sure that the persons who were responding and given the support were not themselves at risk or indeed to minimize the risk to them. Riley also notes the important aspect of personal responsibility. The government, of course, in leading the charge in all of our 19 states can give guidance, but it is down to the decision of the individual on how they're going to respond to that guidance that's given. And this applies to, in my view, across all hazards. So. The, the role of individuals, um, the importance of listening, taking in the messages that have been relayed by a reliable and authoritative source, this is really critical. And we really encourage uh, populations of all of our states, including here in Nevis, to ensure that they take on board the guidance that has been given. If there are questions to be raised around it, it's important to raise those questions and get clarity for yourself because at the end of the day, it's individual decisions which can support the saving of lives. Sidema Executive Director Elizabeth Riley. 
The Ministry of Human Resources in the Nevis Island Administration informs that the Caribbean Development Bank, CDB, in collaboration with the Government of the Republic of Italy, has announced the launch of its International Master in Public Procurement Management Scholarship at the University of Rome in Italy, the program which will commence in March 2023 and end in February 2024, is open to all citizens of CDB be borrowing member countries. The selected candidate would be required to be based in Rome for a period of four months. The scholarship will cover the full tuition fee for the postgraduate program, travel costs to and from Italy for the program, and an allowance for room and board at the university campus and any additional living expenses. The scholarship application process is now open and will close at 11 11.59 p.m. on November 28, 2022. All submissions should be sent to the CDB at masterippm at caribank.org. Each submission should include a motivational cover letter explaining the candidate's interest in the scholarship program and confirming that the candidate meets the eligibility requirements as well as a curriculum vitae. To access the scholarship eligibility requirements and additional information, visit carrybank.org. Send an email to procurement at carrybank.org. Contact the Ministry of Human Resources at 469-5521, extension 5164-5166 or 5163, or send an email to the email addresses on your screen. Still to come... It's Dad. He's disappeared. Dad has made several payments from a hotel in Nevis in the Caribbean. The details after this break. Taxes are the lifeblood of a nation. Feel good about what your tax dollars do in Nevis. As a responsible citizen, your tax dollars protect our environment. Pay your taxes on time. This message was brought to you by the Inland Revenue Department, Nevis. Be a responsible citizen. Welcome back. The Nevis Renal Society is seeking the support of the general public as it prepares to host one of its fundraising events this weekend. Florian Williams is the organization's public relations officer. I'm here promoting a breakfast on Saturday the 12th of November next to the Gingerland Secondary School opposite Best Buy Supermarket in Gingerland. We, the price is $20 per person and we are looking forward for your support. Proceeds goes towards helping clients with renal failure and I'm going to take this opportunity to thank everyone who donated or made a contribution and thank you very much for your continuous support. The Davis Renal Society is a local support group for patients of chronic kidney disease. To purchase tickets or to make a donation to the Davis Renal Society's breakfast sale, contact PRO Florine Williams at 669-3477. Premier of Nevis, the Honourable Mark Branchley, will host his next monthly press conference on Thursday, November 17, 2022. The press conference will be held at the Cabinet Room on the second floor of the Social Security Building at Pinnis Estate. Premier Branchley will provide an update on matters pertaining to Nevis, and members of the press will have the opportunity to ask questions. The press conference will be broadcast live from 10 a.m. on Nevis Television NTV Channel 99. Nevis TV Online.com, NTV Co app, Nevis Television Facebook page, and Nevis Newscast YouTube channel. Christmas in Paradise with filming in Nevis and produced by Philip Martinez of the boutique film and television production company MSR Media will debut in theaters in the United States on Friday, November 11th. We are going to have the most peaceful Christmas this year. This. We need to call an emergency sisters meeting. What has the Christmas family done now? It's Dad. He's disappeared. 
Dad has made several payments from a hotel in Nevis in the Caribbean. I've booked tickets for the three of us. We're going to the Caribbean this afternoon. What? You might want to start packing. Flight leaves at four. Don't tell my heart, my leg is breaking hard. I just don't think it on the stand. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for my brother, Mr. James Charisma. <laughs> What's up with that? Can't a man disappear without being hunted down by his nosy daughters? I am here to rescue you, Daddy. I want you to go back to your families. Aren't you just a little bit happy to see us, Dad? I am staying here. I think Dad is having a massive emotional reaction. Well, 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 James. Aren't you full of surprises? Another wonderful day. The three of us have to do everything we possibly can, and we have to convince him to come back to England with us. You three look like you're up to no good. No! All these. <laughs> Called a killer bee. You gotta be careful. They're dangerous and addictive. Yeah, we're gonna use some more killer bees. Joanna! Oh, morning! I hate you. Family need to stick together. Agreed? Agreed. 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 I feel a lot of change coming on, James. Dad wants to have fun, he should have fun. Who are you and what have you done with Joanna? Would you mind repeating that, please? Hey! It's like paradise. This very moment, I am on a Caribbean island with three of my magnificent four daughters, and I couldn't be happier. Holiday romantic comedy starring Kelsey Grammer will be released in select theaters on Friday, November 11th and on Blu-ray digitally and through video on demand on Tuesday, November 15th. Meanwhile, Christmas in the Caribbean starring Elizabeth Hurley and also produced by Philip Martinez will be released in the United States on Tuesday, November 15th. Christmas in the Caribbean was exclusively shot in St. Kitts. And that's it for this edition of the Nevis Newscast. On behalf of all of us here at the Department of Information, I am Bronte Swanston Hendrickson. Thank you for viewing.